In January 1972, Aretha Franklin was among the most popular vocalists in the world, with 20 successful albums and scores of hit songs to her credit. It seems that she wanted to record the songs that she had sung in church before her professional career began, and the result was a double album, Amazing Grace, that became the best-selling gospel record of all time, and also Franklin's top-selling album. At the time, concert films were popular. Woodstock and Gimme Shelter had both been successfully released in cinemas in 1970. Warner Brothers assigned director Sidney Pollock, who had just finished filming Jeremiah Johnson with Robert Redford, and would subsequently commence production of The Way We Were with Redford and Barbara Streisand, to film the Franklin performance in front of a live audience over two nights at the New Temple Missionary Baptist Church in suburban Los Angeles. That live audience included Mick Jagger. But the film was never released because something technical went badly wrong. It seems that there was a lack of sync between image and sound that could not until recently be rectified. But the marvels of modern technology have allowed the film to be completed at last, though probably not quite in the way Pollock had planned. The sole director credit now goes to Alan Elliott. The result is a magical time capsule. The songs are mainly hymns, of course, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, prominent among them, but there's also a terrific version of Carol King's You've Got a Friend, and of course, Amazing Grace, the title song. Franklin's voice is remarkable, she was at the top of her game, and she's accompanied by the South California Community Choir, conducted by Alexander Hamilton, with the avuncular Reverend James Cleveland in charge of proceedings. On the second night, Franklin's proud father, C.F. Franklin, makes an emotional speech and at one point is seen mopping the sweat from his daughter's brow. Pollock himself can be seen directing the operators of the multiple cameras and even shooting some of the footage himself. And Jagger joins in the choruses with enthusiasm. This musical feast was filmed a very long time ago, but it feels like only yesterday. I'm giving Amazing Grace four stars 